Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cause and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to demo or demonstrate how to auto provisioning user license in Office 365. So you want automate, right? So here's the five step that I'm going to do and you can follow along with me if you want. First of all, I'm going to create a security group. And number two, I'm going to provisioning an Office 365 license to the security groups. And third step, I'm going to add users to the group. Fourth, I'm going to wait 30 minutes, or I can use uh, AD Connect the other syncs to force the sync. And fifth, I'm going to check if users has if user account has the license. It's a pretty simple step. So now let's get started. We're going to let's take a look at my current users um, that does not have license. So I have two users here, user four and user five. As you can see here, there's no license. And um, so now let's go back to the screen. So we're going to create security groups. I'm going to my Active Directory user and groups. I'm going to create a group. It's going to be global and security groups. I'm going to call this Office 365 E3 license. So any users that belong to E3, I mean Office 365 group, will get E3 license because I'm going to assign the license to it now. If I go to my uh, tenant, here it is. I'm going to search for the account or for the groups. Should be under groups. And it's called Office 365. So it's not there yet. Oh, it's not up here yet. It has not been synced. I'm going to force a Delta sync. I'm going to launch PowerShell. Run as administrator. The command line I'm going to run is, let me copy this over. It's going to be start dash ad. S Y N C S N C C Y C L E dash policy type delta. Let's see if that works. It is not a recognized. Thing I misspelled here. Let's take a look again. A D S Y N C.
a d s y n c and an s y n c c cycle so this should work all right look like it has been sync let's see if it's going to show up refresh all right let's give it a few minutes all right let's search again office 365 all right so the group is here now I have no members I don't think let's go ahead and assign license I'm going to need to go into um, Azure click on Azure right here it is thinking Azure Active Directories I want to go to licenses and I want to go to all products I'm going to click on E3, Office 365 E3. I have 19 available. I'm going to click Assign. I'm going to select the group. The group is called Office 365. Here it is. Select and click Assign. As you can see here, it's a licenses assigned. So that is step step two, provision Office 365 license to the group. Now step three, I'm going to add users to this group. So I'm going back to the on-prems uh, active directory user and groups i'm going to add let me go to i'm going to add user four add it to the group it's called office 365 check oops did i add it to the right groups let's go back here Okay, that's right, E3, Office 365 E3, click OK, I'm going to add user 5, All right, so that is step number three, right? Yep, step number three. Step number four, I'm going to force the sync. I'm going, to I'm going back to the PowerShell. I'm going to force the sync again. Just press F3. Successful. Now let's go back to the console. Now let's go to the users, active users, and then search for users four and five. It shows unlicensed so it's going to take some time um, let me pause the recording and we'll come back and check 
All right, let's try again. Um, refresh or search. <clears throat> yep, there it is. As you can see, it is licensed with E3. So that's it. If you guys like my video, please don't forget to subscribe. And you, my channel will cover everything with SCCM, Office 365, Azure, um, desktop management. Thank you for watching and you guys have a great day.